Jena. 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 Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meiji69, and welcome back to... This is a heartbreak video, and what I'm going to be doing with the heartbreak replays from now on, we're going to rename them. We're not going to name them heartbreakers. We're going to name them Yena, because why not? Yena is something that has come amongst us with a group of friends of mine, Batman, Batman, uh, made it up. It's kind of like Yeno, uh, and that is what these kind of replays are like. Are you going to win? No, you're not. Um, so... I'm going to rename these uh, replays, these um, heartbreak replays, Yena, and we're going to feature some of my close friends, as you've just heard, Jono, who we think is the best person at saying Yena. Also, Eco, he loves saying it. He says it like everywhere. So you are going to hear a few uh, Yenas going forward in these kind of heartbreak replays. So first up, we have m46 pattern we have two replays for you today both replays are proper yenars uh, and as i've said when i say that you know it means they are proper heartbreakers in, in other words so faust he's he actually has a really 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 good game um m46 pattern is, is not the same kind of tank it used to be it's definitely been power crept there's so many other better medium tanks this is probably one of the worst i don't think it's the worst medium in in tier 9 you do have the wz120 uh, which i do probably think is worse than this um it's probably the worst medium in tier 9 definitely the 120 but this has it's close to it it's close to it i mean it's not bad but it's just been power crept and i mean i don't see really any reason to play the m46 pattern unless you're grinding unless you're grinding because the armor is, is not particularly great it's not got the kind of armor that it's not got the kind of turret armor that the m48 pattern has got uh, which is truly amazing and even the m48 pattern which i still I still love the tank. That is not really a tank to play no more because there's just other tanks around it, uh, medium tanks that have been buffed and buffed. The Leopard, the T62, the E50M, the WZ121, the the Pajero. There's so many more medium tanks out there that are just really truly amazing, and that goes for the M46 pattern as well. It's not. It's just not. A great tank um, but our guy here he he plays it fantastic absolutely fantastic uh, so far he's on 3.3k damage he's only taken a little bit of damage in return but there's still you can see three tanks still to go two super heavies and one missile tank all three of them are full hit points so the motion is not really a tank you want to come up against uh, when you can really only see its turret while you're in an m46 pattern so he's going to relocate he's going to relocate and he's going to try and get away from uh, that tank and if he can actually keep that tank alive and deal with the other tanks uh, then and hopefully his team will stay alive then it should be quite easy to uh, quite easy to win this game now Luckily for him, the VK100, I mean, he's just turning around in circles. I mean, just go up to the wall, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? But the T92, he goes, he's going to spoil the fun in a minute, and he's going to come and help the, the VK, which if he would have just waited an extra 30 seconds or so, then this game or this battle would be different. But he comes to help, and he completely donks his shot. So that allows him to get the kill on the VK. Um, and not really take any damage from the T92. Now, he's backing up. He does get a nice shot there into the T92, and he's actually going to get a lucky bounce uh, there. So he's bounced 1,000 damage, and so far he's on 5.9k damage. He is chasing this guy. It's a 2 versus 2, but still there is a full hit point motion to take care of and now he he gets shot from the motion he goes in for the ram just to bring the t92 down to a one shot and here to be honest i would i would take the shot and get around but he's actually going to start face hugging unfortunately for him his teammate is actually bouncing on the uh, on the motion but so far he's on 7.5k damage 
Still a lot of work to do. There's still 1,400 hit points to do. Any bounces he shot there. He's going to try and face her. Can he, can he get a bounce? He has to get a bounce. He doesn't. He does an absolute shame. Four kills. And now that just leaves the motion against the T69. And the T69 hasn't really done too much. It's not a great tank. Uh, and against the T9 motion, it's a very hard uh, tank. And already I know, or you know, that this T69 is not going to get the kill. So can we get another yeah, nah? Yeah, nah. There we go. There we go. Unfortunately, he still had a really, really good game. He still had a really good game. And he still should be, even though it's a loss, he should be proud of that game. At 7,800 damage and an M46 pattern. That's, I haven't seen that kind of damage in this tank ever. Or at least for a very, very long time. Well-deserved ace. Unfortunately... If he would have just got one more shot, he bounced a couple of times on the motion there. If he would have just penned one of those, he would have passed the 8k damage. Next up, we have Cyrus, and he is driving the Hori Type 3. Now, this is another tank that I recently have been seeing a lot of damage. People get a lot of damage in this tank. It is a fantastic tank. I love playing it. I hate coming up against it. It is a troll, very troll tank with the armor profile. Uh, the reload's really good. And of course, the, the penetration on the premium AP is much better than the normal AP. And you only lose like 15, 15 damage. You only do like 15 damage less than your normal AP. I'm surprised Wargaming hasn't actually changed that. Because you shouldn't, it should be, you should be losing more DPM than 15 damage per shot for using a premium ammo. But they haven't changed it yet. So take full advantage of that. You might as well go out and fire full premium rounds in, in this tank. Now, it's the armor profile for this that really does annoy me. The, the armor profile is really, really good. Coming up against it, I mean, it's you, you struggle to pen it. You do struggle to pen it. The tank is amazing. The tank is really, really good. And I have seen many high damage games in, in this tank. Loads of high damage games. And this is no exception. This is, again, one of the highest I've seen in, in this tank. Uh, and Cyrus he he goes for the mediums and this tank is really good because of the speed and the rate of fire you can really really bully the medium tanks which is done there against that wz120 which is what i've said in the first is probably one of the worst mediums in in tier 9 um there's actually a lot of or actually most tier 8 mediums are better than the 120 so He's now going to come around and he's going to be able to get the side of these uh, tanks. That was a poor low roll there. Uh, very, very unfortunate against that T-54E1. Uh, he wasn't able to take the kill. So he's now going to leave him on very, very low hit points. So at the moment, it is a four versus six. A four versus six. Um, there's still a lot of hit points, though, on his team. The E100 is still... Well, there's two a full hit point E100 there, but the enemy does still have a lot of hit points also. There goes uh, a nice shot there on the 268. He gets wrecked by the E100 and the Hori, and hopefully he can reload just in time, and the Death Star finishes him off with the 91, uh, 91 damage. So now he's on 4.4k damage. He's blocked 1,200 damage. So already he's had a fantastic game. But it's a 3 versus 5. There's a lot of work still to be done. Can he do it? Can he take that E4 out? Of course he can. Uh, he's now taken a big gun out of the game. So that changes everything. Because now that is a 3 versus 4. If this Death Star can actually go forward and get a nice shot off. Then it could be different. Now I do think he makes the... That was an error. Uh, he shouldn't have done that. He goes for a fail tune T34 when there is the T95E6 sat there. In a tier 10 game, if you're driving a tier 10 and there's a tier 8, don't go for the tier 8. Like You had a side shot on the T95E6, which is going to come back and haunt him. Instead, he goes for the easy shot, which is the T34. Now, the T34, even though the T34 has got nice pen, he's still going to struggle. He's still going to struggle to pen this Hori uh, in tier 10, two tiers above it. So, get rid of the most dangerous tanks if you can. And 
in all fairness, the T-34 isn't the most dangerous tank. Um, far from it, actually. So he's going to come around the corner, and again, he maybe he should have waited, uh, try to bait a shot from the E-100, because now he's only on 800 hit points. He has to take this E-100 out. Hopefully he can reload before the E-100 does. He's now on his own, but he is going to get shot from that T-95 E-6. And now he is up against this guy that is full hit points. He can take a shot unless the T-95 E-6 uh, high rolls. I don't think he's going to do it. It's 495 hit points is a lot of hit point for one shot. So unless he's very unlucky. But the T95E6 decides instead of coming towards Cyrus here, he's going to go and cap A, which could be a smart move. I, I mean, I, personally, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. I would just go for the kill. Um, but no, he's going to go towards A. <coughs> Cyrus, Cyrus has gone for cap A. C and now he knows that he's going uh, the enemy is going for cap A the enemy are on almost 800 supremacy points so he has he can't let the enemy have two bases that is for sure he has to slow down the time he's on 7800 damage uh, and he's not going to want to lose this on cap points with uh, over a thousand hit points left on the T95E6. So again, with this tank, the speed is really, really nice and he can get to the cap uh, pretty quickly and start decapping base B. So if he can, if he can get this, then it is going to slow the time down uh, dramatically from the enemy team uh, because he's now going to have two cap points. I still don't think it's going to be enough for the win if the T95E6 don't, doesn't cap. So he's going to wait around this area. He knows that the T95E6 should be coming and he's probably going to come and try and decap one of these bases. So he just needs to be patient. He needs to be aware uh, and he needs to be ready for this T95E6. And there he is, a lovely shot, a lovely high roll. He's trying to wiggle, uh, doesn't get the bounce. 77 hit points left. He's going to get a nice shot there again. Again, a low roll, 430. 33. What a low roll that is. He manages to get the bounce. He's bounced 2,000 damage. Leaves this guy on 200 hit points. Now is the time he should be face-hugging. He should be face-hugging, but he doesn't do it. Can we get another yeah, nah? Yeah, nah. There, there we go. But 9,300 damage. Unlucky, but well played. An amazing two games there. Very unfortunate with both games, but well-deserved ace, well-deserved damage. And thank you guys for sending me that in. Can we end the game with Jono, the best at saying it? Yeah, nah. See you soon, guys. Yeah, nah.